1998, a man brought a taste of Mexico to the streets of Salt Lake City. And now, after 25 years, Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree shows us why his sons have opened a Tacos Don Rafa's first brick and mortar restaurant. He said, I don't care if only one people shows all day. I'm gonna still gonna put the car here all day, all night. Jesse Rosas remembers being seven years old, tagging along with his father Jesus in a snowstorm to sell tacos on the sidewalk outside the old Sears building. Even if it's raining, even if it's snowing, even with the COVID, we were there. Jesse and brother Christian Rosas the took their father's dream and ran with it. Yeah, I'm going for tacos. Tacos? Opening right. Tacos Don Rafa's first brick and mortar restaurant this year in Mill Creek. We never thought the response of the community and the Salt Lake City people will allow us to be part of them. The dream doesn't stop with the brick and mortar restaurant. The two brothers want to take this small taco cart their father created around the world. I don't want to, not a franchise, just one. But one in Canada, one in the Middle East, one in Europe, one in Mexico, one in like South America. Christian says this expansion was never his father's dream. Can I do two of the beef and two chicken? But the brothers hope to make him proud, seeing them taking the TDR legacy global. Taco Cards were 25 years ago. It was a hit. You were the first one. You're the lastest one. And you, and you are the godfather of the taco stands. But you just changing. United States. The secret ingredient to Tacos Don Rafa's success, a little bit of salt. We are the only taco cart and even I can think restaurant that we bring that salt here because it's from our hometown, from Colima. So we cook everything with that salt. And a lot of love. When you cook food without love or without passion and you're just doing it for the money, money will run. Tacos Don Rafa, forever made with love in Utah. Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.